Hey, what's up guys? It's Wes. Um, today I want to talk about how to manifest things into your life. Things that can range all the way from a person or financial wishes. Now, something you need to know before watching this video is nothing's going to happen right away, especially when it comes to manifestation. It's a gradual work. It takes repetitive actions to do every day. It takes time. Nothing happens instantly. For example, me, I wanted to manifest more positivity into my life um, with myself and manifest other people around me being positive. And it takes time to build build up that positivity and and build up that that vibration that to attract what you want to you so it's a work in progress just keep that in mind but if you're dedicated and really want to happen you'll make it happen so in this video i'm going to go over four main topics that i think are pretty important if i'm going to be putting them in a video um and that you should take into big consideration in doing and that will 100 percent benefit your journey on manifestation so the first thing i want to mention is Believing in the process and believing in yourself. You need to believe that you deserve what you're wishing for. You need to really believe in yourself and be like, yeah, I, I really deserve this. And just saying it, yeah, I deserve it. Like You need to believe in yourself. Truly, you need to get that feeling deep down that tells you, yeah, I deserve this and I want it to happen and I need it in my life. You need to believe in the process of manifestation and believe that life is going to put what you want in your path at the right time. And when it's the right time, you need to recognize the opportunity that's in front of you. You need to recognize the opportunity and trust the process that life is putting you through and trust the time that it's going to take for what you're manifesting for it to come true. Now, I know trusting the process, that's a little bit of a hard thing for people to do. Everybody wants things to happen now, especially with technology nowadays. Everyone is just like so impatient. You know what I mean? Like everyone, we get Amazon at your door the next day. You know what I mean? We, we get everything just like fast, fast, fast. Was it back in the day, people were more grateful and patient because they had to wait for things like sending the mail, sending a letter to someone. You have to wait for that right? You don't just send an email and say, Hey, I sent you an email, go check it out. So everyone wants stuff to happen fast, fast, fast. But this is a process that takes time. So you, you really need to understand that and trust your life process. One year is not a long time of your life. If something takes a year to accomplish, like growing a business, if you need to dedicate a year to have 10 years or the rest of your life for freedom, then that's not that big of a commitment. So trust the process, be patient, and understand that life will give you your opportunities when it's right for you. Something I think is extremely important, and not for manifestation, but for like anything else you, you want to accomplish, um, and that's reminding yourself your goals on a daily basis. So what this does is it triggers something in your brain. You remind yourself every day. You put it in your routine. And... You, you implement it in your brain that like this is supposed to be there and this is truly what I desire, my goals. This is truly what I want. So you need to keep pushing and pushing that information in your brain every single day. Now, something that helps with this is create a vision board. That's what I did. But when you create a vision board, you have to really feel the, the things you're putting on it. And feel the passion in them. Like, I really want this to happen. This is this is a huge goal I want to happen in my life. So you need to really put something on the board that you're willing to fight for and wait for and, and accomplish in life. And make sure you look at your vision board every morning you wake up and every night when you go to sleep. So it's the first thing in your head in the morning and it's the last thing. I don't know if you guys understand how important that is. When you go to bed, the last thing that you hear or talk about before you sleep really matters when you sleep. When, when you're asleep, it's only your um, subconscious running. And that's what dreams are. And we can get into dream interpretation. That's, that's a whole nother video we can talk about. Um, but when you look at your vision board in the morning and at night, um, visualize yourself there 
so let's say it's you want to move to the city one day and buy a condo. Visualize your, close your eyes and visualize yourself what life will be like if you're actually there. Let's say if you want to manifest a lot of money, right? What will it, what will it feel like when you have all that money? And when you think, see yourself smiling, positive, or do you see yourself being like um, ignorant or then that's that's when it comes into like mindful awareness. And that's another whole video I need to talk about. Um, but you picture yourself there and you'll really feel it. Another thing you can do to remind yourself of your goals is watch motivational videos. So all those motivational speakers, I can't name any off the top of my head, but if you just YouTube search motivational morning videos, the videos that come up, you listen to them, you're pumped, you're ready to go. You're ready for the day, <laughs> all right? So sometimes it's hard to pep talk yourself, but if you put in your earphones and you have something telling you in your ear, then it pushes you. Another thing you can do is something that we look at every day is change your phone screensaver. For example, I'll show you my phone. I have my, I have my whole schedule out, success. I have my whole schedule laid out so I know if I'm behind, I got to catch up. I've got my work planned out. So every time you look at your phone, it reminds you of, of what you desire and what you're working so hard for and what you want to do in the future. Like just, it's just, it's, your phone is something you look at every day. And trust me, repetitive actions really matter. So the next thing I want to talk about is clearing resistance in yourself and negativity. This could be a really setback. If you are if you keep telling yourself, no, I can't do it and doubting yourself and, and keep procrastinating and you have fear of going out of your comfort zone and accomplishing things you really want to accomplish and thinking about past regrets you've made. I'm gonna tell you something. It's really easy to be negative. It's really easy to think about your past and think about things you could have done or should have said, but that doesn't matter. All that you need to focus on is your future and what you can do now to benefit your future. You can't think about the past. You can think about that all day and it's not gonna do anything for you. What's gonna do something for you is focusing on what you can do now to the future and doubts. Stop doubting yourself, okay? Everyone is capable of achieving anything they want to in life. It just takes effort. And a lot of people don't wanna put an effort. It's a lot of work. Everyone's got big dreams and I wish I could do that and I wish I could go there. So make those wishes come true. It'll be hard in the beginning. It, you have to grind every single day, but make sure you're doing what you love too. You can't be doing something that you don't enjoy. Make sure you're, this process is happening in a way that you enjoy it too. So stop doubting yourself. Stop being fearful of taking big risks and opportunities. What, 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 what's the worst that could happen? All right. If you take risks, oh, well, you can die certain things, but you know, everything's about to happen for a reason, I guess. <laughs> but just, you can't, fear holds you back so much in life. Okay, holds you so back so much in life. People don't understand, right? I wanna go do that, but I'm a little bit scared of doing it. Just go do it, all right? Get out of your comfort zone. That's how you grow as a person. Take on new challenges, learn new skills, talking to new people, that all grows you as a person, boosts your skills, right? There's no, I don't hear anything negative that could happen, honestly, <laughs> so. All right, the final little tip I wanna say is just be consistent with all of this. Your journey to success or whatever you're manifesting, you have to manifest and think about what you want to manifest on a daily basis. You have to think about your to-dos and your vision board on a daily basis, your goals. That's how you program your mind for success is if you fit in the information every single day, right? It's just like when you go to school, you're learning about the same thing every, every day. You're eventually going to get the hang of it. Same thing with this. It's going to be difficult in the beginning. And you might get frustrated with the time and the time it takes to do and some things like that, but just be consistent and it will work out the better. All right, guys. Well, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed my manifestation video and hope you seriously learned something and can take what I'm telling you into consideration and trust the process, believe in yourself, and I wish you success on your journey.